Hi and welcome back. <laughs> I was supposed to be an RD maybe two hours ago. I've been watching Bridgerton the first season. How come nobody ever told me the show was that good? The show was actually really, really good. I thought it was going to be cheesy. No, it's not. It's actually really, really good. Get ready to go to the store. I'm going to find out. I'm on the part where they're finding out, everybody's finding out, that Marina is pregnant. It definitely finds out she can become with child. Simon is not trying to give her child. <sighs> this show is like putting me through the ringer. I need to be at the grocery store because I hate going around 11. That's when people are taking their lunch breaks and it's just crazy outside. I'm not doing too much. It's just the fact that I woke up looking crazy. Just gonna give it a little, a little quick one too. Not the major. That's it. And do this. So I'm gonna do this around my whole head. And then I'll be back. Do y'all think that Simon was wrong? Not tell her why he wasn't he would not give her children? Do y'all think Daphne was wrong for straddling this man? I think he played with her ignorance, honestly, because you know, she did not know like she didn't know what comes with sex. Who's wrong in this situation? Because he's so heartstrung on his family line dying out. And she's so heartstrung on um, being a mother. She knew when they were about to duel him and her brother. He, she knew that he would not give her children. Personally, I think that she's wrong. You can't just straddle this man. I don't know. I don't know. She just knew the terms of their marriage. That's all I know. She, I personally feel like she trapped this man once she found out like how it happened. Like. Oh, sex. Oh, that's how babies happen. Oh, I want a baby because we do this every night type shit. That's what it feels like to me. I feel like two people like that who are not compatible when it comes to that field of things, like children, no children type shit, it should never happen. Like real life movies. It's level four. Ooh! Got clean in my eye. All right, we're going to see how long that holds. Okay, so this is the hair. Oh, rope, rope, rope. We're gonna see if it holds up. It's not too hot today. It's like in the 60s. So we're gonna see. You know, going to the store looking halfway presentable. Like you never know who you might see. They just told Lady Feathering she has to carry her ass. Like everybody knew that you were in on trying to get a Bridgerton to marry the girl. But yeah, can't can't go today without doing skincare. Crusty. My face looks very dry right now. The huge Bioma and Pearlescence. A gel. She ain't know nothing about nothing. I mean, I I don't get it. Like I don't understand why women have to be so reserved, but men could go you know, having sex with anybody in the town, like, and everybody knew about it, but got the serum right by Elma and the native, um, coconut and vitamin B. Yeah. Vitamin B3. Yeah. I mean, even now until this day, like men have sex with anybody, you know, they're the guy, they're that guy, but a girl go, you know, she can, goes and has sex with more than one person she's not committed to anybody she's a hoe she's ran through blah 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 like the stark difference is crazy like on the why does that look like that i mean granted she's been stuck my lace has been stuck since thursday and today's tuesday we were in the basement sweating for graduation. Like we were sweating. Like I'm surprised my makeup did not melt off my face. That's how bad we were sweating. Like the sky high mascara. This one is in brown. I had individuals on, but they made my eyes burn. So I have on strip lashes. I need to fix this one because the corner is hanging off. Laura Mercier lip gloss and baby doll has like a little shimmer to it 
So I fixed my lash, fixed this, put some comfy clothes on, and we're going to be in the car. leggings i guess yoga pants i'm on amazon so if you're a tall girl i'm gonna link it because they're 37 inches i'm five seven five eight and my pants dragged the ground when did we want to have high water pants hmm. i'm trying to be an influencer it's just a little recap of my all these trip tees bags because i plan on making carbonara so they did not have they did not have any guanciale some thick cut bacon, peppercorn bacon. We're gonna be dropping stuff, but no, the 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 the, the goddamn. Then I got some honey wheat bread. These bagels, these bagels. They're the maple French toast bagels. Aldi, get you some. Get you. I got me put some prosciutto because, yeah. Got me a pin pineapple. Pineapple slicer, peppers, peppers, eat them by themselves or with something in it. These with the turkey sausage and the cheese, man. There's some mushrooms, some blackberries. These ones look amazing, actually. I don't know. Hold on, but they look so good. And some nanners, my third thing of bananas and tubes. Mind the business of Asian and not mine. Fruit. These I'll probably eat the whole pack in one sitting. These are going in my oatmeal. The Botos, I have risotto, the roasted garlic, the four cheese, and the mushroom. I found some wing sauce. And I'm like, maybe I'll do some wings today. They deliver that, they need to be cut up, and I wanted to make some sweet potato fries. Got some batteries, because none of our remotes have batteries. If you don't know, now you do. Get it? Some Asiago cheese for my carbonara, some yeast. Pack of chicken wings that I'm about to separate and put in a uh, Ziploc. I keep heavy cream because you never know when you may need it. Have some type of spray here. And a little sale owl. I said, why the fuck not? Without picking up some kombucha. This is the best flavor. Best. Best flavor. Best flavor you can get in this flight. So that concludes my $124 Aldi trip. I was planning on spending $50. Not make it any less worthy of love. I just got home from work. Look at my lace. She's saying hello. Say hi, bike. Bike. But this ice cream, Kroger, this one's really good, but this one is even better. Like, oh my god, get it. Stand by for any 
it is the next day and the last day my straight hair turned more wavy um so yeah and enjoy this video i am supposed to go get a tattoo tomorrow but that is going to be the start of my next vlog so oh and my lace came up mind your business save your teeth um yeah so thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time bye Thank you.